Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're going to be providing an update on a company we've talked about a number of times on the channel. The name is Awaken Life Sciences, and there's been some big news and a really exciting analyst research report that have come out over the last couple of weeks. So I wanted to go through all of that in today's video. Before we do though, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comment section below if you've picked up shares of Awaken, what you think about these recent developments and how you think this company stacks up to some of the other players that we've covered in this space on the channel previously. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be providing an update on Awaken Life Sciences. Now this is a company we initially started covering on the channel about three months ago. It was trading in the range of about $3 at that point in time, as you can see on the six month chart here. And over the last couple of months, very similar to a lot of small caps and penny stocks we've seen, the company has just about cut its share price in half, which I think presents a great buying opportunity if you're looking for exposure to the biotech or healthcare biotech space, specifically looking at alternative treatments for addiction. And as we laid out in our previous videos, this is a major concern around the world right now. There are a ton of people that are struggling with all sorts of mental disorders, including addiction, and the existing treatments that are out there really aren't meeting the needs of these patients or consumers. So Awaken Life Sciences truly is, in my opinion, one of the most undervalued companies in this space right now. And they've made a number of big strides over the last couple of months since our last update, which I feel really aren't being priced in by investors at this point in time. Now, in addition to those big pieces of news that we're going to talk about in today's presentation, there was also an extremely bullish research report put out on Awaken Life Sciences that I wanted to walk you guys through towards the end of the presentation. They've actually got an $8 price target on this company, which shows exactly how undervalued they feel Awaken Life Sciences currently is. Now, with that being said, you can see here they closed out last week's session at $1.55. They were down $0.05 cents per share, about 3.1% on the day. And again, if we look at the six month chart here, you guys, it was only back in the middle of January that this company was trading above $3 Canadian. So very compelling valuation and share price for what you're actually getting with Awaken. Now, for those of you who maybe missed our initial coverage of this company, Awaken Life Sciences is really looking to revolutionize the treatments for addiction. And they're doing this in a number of different ways. They've got a variety of different drugs and treatments in the development pipeline. They're opening clinics and they're really focused on the European market at this point in time. And to expand on that point a little bit, if we jump over to the company website here, again, I'll leave a link in the video description below. You can see they fill out the idea of these revolutionary treatments for mental health disorders and addiction. So that's going to include standard substance addiction, anxiety disorders, depression, eating disorders, and PTSD. So obviously, if you think about the number of people around the world that are suffering from one or multiple of these conditions, the numbers really are quite astonishing, not to mention the recent uptick in numbers and people suffering from these conditions as a result of the pandemic we've seen over the last couple of years. Now, in terms of the treatment model itself, it's called psychedelic assisted therapy. In our clinics, we deliver psychedelic assisted therapy as a treatment for mental health and addiction. Some of the conditions we just talked about there. This approach combines talking therapy with sessions assisted by psychedelics. We currently use ketamine assisted therapy, although they are experimenting and have other drugs in the development pipeline. This combination has unique effects on the brain circuitry associated with unhelpful thinking and behavioral patterns. It may allow you or patients to work through issues in ways that have not been possible with therapy alone. So some of those traditional therapy options, again, with very low success rates or results and help patients to relearn the behaviors and thought patterns that hold them back. So again, really pushing the boundaries of traditional medicine here and coming up with unique and proprietary ways to treat some of these conditions that are plaguing the population around the world. 
Now with that little reminder out of the way, I wanted to jump into the main event here, the big news that's come out over the last couple of weeks from Awaken Life Sciences. So this is the first article, came out March 17th, 2022. Awaken Life Sciences receives regulatory approval for their flagship clinic in London to begin delivering patient treatments. So this is monumental for the company. Again, they're really trying to build out their clinic or brick and mortar clinic model. And this is a major step in the right direction for Awaken Life Sciences. So the article goes on to read, London Clinic will begin delivering ketamine assisted therapy. Again, we just talked about that for addiction and mental health. This is going to be their third location, which is now up and operational in addition to Bristol and Oslo, which we talked about in our last presentation. And as you can see here, Awaken Life Sciences, a biotechnology company, has received Care Quality Commissions or the CQC formal approval to begin treatments for addiction and mental health. The flagship London Clinic is going to allow clients seeking treatment for alcohol use disorder to receive Awaken's groundbreaking treatment protocol developed in the recently published Phase 2 A and B clinical trial results. And again, we covered that in our last presentation. Anthony Tennyson, who's the CEO of Awaken, I'm actually going to try and get him on the channel for a Q&A or interview session. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. He went on to comment, this is a very exciting moment for Awaken and for ketamine assisted therapy overall, as it starts to become a more accessible option for patients. Most importantly, it provides us an effective treatment option for so many when other current therapies or treatments fall short. And again, we talked about this at length in the previous video, but the success rate on current treatment alternatives or plans is extremely low, and it leaves a lot of people struggling from these conditions feeling very defeated. The CQC giving us this recognition, again, signals a positive direction for the UK and Europe towards embracing ketamine-assisted therapy as a mainstream treatment. And that approval is actually going to allow Awaken to receive a Schedule 2 license from the home office, which will allow ketamine to be administered in the London Clinic. So again, a groundbreaking milestone for Awaken Life Sciences. And in terms of some of the numbers here, again, I just mentioned a massive total addressable market. Addiction is now one of the biggest unmet medical needs of our time. It affects one in five people globally, or about 20% of the global population. And that industry alone is valued at about $100 billion per year. And again, that's just one of the segments of customers or patients that Awaken is really trying to treat. Now, the next article, a little more recently here, came out Wednesday, April 6, and this really talks about the drug development pipeline. Awaken now has successfully completed phase one of its drug discovery program. So the article goes on to read, again, Awaken Life Sciences, today announced the successful completion of phase one of its new chemical entity, which is known as an NCE development program, strengthening Awaken's pipeline for treatment of a broad range of both substance and behavioral addictions. So as mentioned in the intro, right now they're focused on ketamine assisted treatments, but that's not all this company is really going after. And they've got a whole host of what's called again NCEs or new chemical entities that they're working to develop and actually bring to mainstream society to treat some of these conditions. Now in terms of the details here, Awaken has now completed what's known as a hit to lead program which delivered its key goals of identifying and patenting novel chemistry or new chemistry scaffolds. It also established drug discovery assays with the potential to facilitate lead optimization activities. So really what that means here you guys is this is an essential first step on the pathway of developing new, faster acting and safer intactogenic therapies for the market. And intactogenic, you guys, by definition is a class of psychoactive drugs that produce experiences of emotional communion, oneness, relatedness, or emotional openness. So really focused on empathy and sympathy. Now, as a result of this, multiple patents have now been filed with several of these chemical scaffolds, demonstrating their potential effectiveness and setting the stage or creating an excellent starting point for future developments. Now, David Nutt, who's Awaken's chief research officer, again, we covered him in our last video, goes on to say, I'm so pleased that this unique and innovative program has progressed so quickly. We have patented two new novel molecule series that so far replicate the in vitro effects of MDMA and which are now ready to be optimized for the next step of what's called in vivo studies, which are needed for proceeding into humans. This announcement builds on Awaken's previous acquisition announcement in March of last year, 2021, of a significant body of proprietary research from Professor Nutt's Aquasi Enterprises, which includes details of newly discovered actions of MDMA and gave Awaken an advantageous starting point 
for this phase of development. So Professor Knott himself or David Knott brought over a whole host of proprietary information and research that Awaken is now using to really springboard themselves into some of these development cycles. As a result, Awaken is now building a strong and unique portfolio of targeted novel candidates to treat both substance and behavioral addictions. And as mentioned in the last article, right now behavioral addictions have no pharmacological treatment available globally and rates of addiction are increasing at an alarming rate, while success rates, again, in substance addiction are very low. So I thought this was super exciting, especially in combination with the last press release we just talked about. Not only is Awaken building out their physical presence in the form of actual brick and mortar clinics where they can treat patients, but they're also developing their portfolio of intellectual property and bringing new drugs to market that can later be used in those actual brick and mortar clinics. So on both sides of the house, whether it's development or deployment, Awaken is making strides. And again, I really don't think that's being reflected in the current share price. Now, the final thing I wanted to cover in today's update presentation on Awaken Life Sciences is really this research report from Stifle GMP. So they've actually now initiated coverage. This is from March 31st of this year. So very recent here, you guys. And you can see they've now initiated coverage of Awaken with a speculative buy and a price target here of $8 Canadian. So again, this is a company that's trading in the $1.50 Canadian range right now. So tremendous upside. Now in summary, we're not gonna go through the full article here, you guys, but very similar sentiment to that of mine in terms of Awaken and the biotech industry overall. So it goes on to say the psychedelic space within the biotech industry has been challenging with shares not far off all time lows amid the recent risk sell off sentiment. We view the environment as favorable to long-term investors who can pick among the best candidates at a de-risked entry point. So again, that share price pullback is representing a great buying opportunity with a much lower risk level than if you were to acquire shares just a couple of months ago in the $3 price point or $3 Canadian range. And that's really something that's hard for investors, particularly new investors to wrap their head around. It's actually good when you see share price retreat here, you guys, because it means there's less downside risk in these companies if they have a strong underlying business model or fundamental business. And you'll often see a lot of people chase or jump into stocks as prices rise, when really that's the exact opposite of what you wanna be doing, and you wanna be accumulating shares when they're close to all-time lows or when they've really pulled back, like we've seen here with Awaken Life Sciences. Now, as a result, Stifle has highlighted Awaken as a peer play psychedelic company focused on treating again addiction with a world renowned management team, including the famed Professor David Nutt, which we just talked about. Now, in addition to the leadership team, Awaken has a differentiated clinic strategy, leveraging the only clinical trial backed ketamine therapy protocol or CARE, again, which we covered in our last video, and a de risk drug development pathway with its lead candidate. MDMA for alcohol use disorder, or AUD, which is currently in phase two trials. At an enterprise value below $50 million, we believe shares offer an attractive risk reward profile with investors receiving its care licensing strategy on label potential for care, as well as second generation candidates for free. We initiated a speculative buy and an $8 price target. So again, basically what that means here, you guys, is Stifle feels just the current business model and the current drug treatment platform that they have is a great investment at these current prices, not to mention all of the additional stuff that's coming down the pipe. And they also go on to mention a number of key catalysts that are coming up in the next couple of quarters. So 2022, they're announcing their care licensing initiatives in North America, UK, and the EU. In Q3 of this year, they're expecting care to enter phase three in the United Kingdom. Q4 of 2022, MDMA for alcohol use disorder is gonna enter their phase two B trials in the UK. And in Q1 of next year or 2023, they believe Awaken will identify a lead second Second generation drug candidate with a robust IP or intellectual property potential. So overall here you guys, a lot of developments that we just covered in today's presentation, a lot on the future roadmap from the team at Awaken Life Sciences, and overall a lot to be excited about in terms of this company's growth potential over the next couple of years. So with that being said here you guys, I definitely think Awaken Life Sciences is worth a closer look. If you haven't already added this one to your watch list, I would definitely encourage you to do so if you're looking for exposure to this space. Again, a couple of the key reasons here. Number one, it's Europe's only psychedelic assisted therapy clinic for treating mental health and addiction. 
The second point called out again on the Awaken Life Sciences website, which I'll leave a link in the video description below. They're focused on long-term change as opposed to a lifetime of treatment, which is really, unfortunately, the current situation for a lot of these patients. Third point, a new clinically proven approach to mental health that provides hope to those where other approaches have not worked. So really at its core, you guys, this is a business you can feel good about investing because it is leading to positive change in the life of the customer or the patient that they're actually treating. And the fourth point here, they've got licensed clinics up and operational and research being led by one of the world's most foremost experts in psychedelic treatment and therapy, who is David Nutt, and we just talked about in today's presentation. So for those reasons, again, really excited about this company. This is one that I'm definitely watching extremely closely and looking to add in my personal portfolio. Again, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. I'm gonna try and reach out to management and actually have them on the channel to answer some viewer questions. So this is a great way to not only get a hold of me, but also in touch with the leadership team at Awaken Life Sciences. If you're still watching at this point in time, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you hit the like button before you leave. And finally, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to do so. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.